Hello there. Welcome to another video short. Now I'm trying a, a little smash and grab raid today. Come to the beautiful seaside village in Northumberland called Beadnell. And mind, it is absolutely rammed. It took us ages to get a car park space and there's people everywhere. But we're looking for dolphins today. Let's hope we can get some. We're gonna go on the main rock scar where I had reports of them yesterday and we're just gonna loiter there and see what happens as the tide comes up. So here's a little bit of useless information for you. Beadnell, um, certainly some years ago, I don't know if this information's still up to date, but one of the members of the band Shawadawari lives here or did live here. So in Shwadi Wadi's words, let's go and look for dolphins and let's go for a little walk. So here we are, as you can see, Beadnell's quite popular with paddle boarders, swimmers, snorkelers, divers, surfers, and of course photographers. But where we're going is to that far scar, the outcrop that's going the furthest into the sea. We're going to be looking just the other side of that and that's where we're going to do our loitering for dolphins. So, let's go. So there we are. Apparently it's called Ebb's Nook. Seaside, you can even find the pigeons sunbathing. So here we are on the end of Ebb's Nook. What we're going to do now, this is where we're going to loiter and look for dolphins. As you can see, it's a beautiful place to loiter. We've got a few fishermen down the bottom. They won't bother us. A little tip for you though, and it's always worth keeping an eye out, especially places like this. If the fishermen start catching lots of mackerel, means that a shoal of mackerel has moved in and the predatory birds, seabirds that feed on the mackerel and the dolphin and porpoise may be around in the, the same area and I've seen this happen more than once so always worth keeping an eye out. Just over to your left and I'll turn you around in a second and show you is how the coastline stretches out Beadnell Sea Houses and one of my all time favourite places, the Farn Islands. There we are, how lovely is that? Farn Islands are just offshore and then just a few miles out of sea houses. So here we are at Ebb's Nook. I'm looking for dolphins today and I'll just take a moment because this boils my blood. Absolutely boils my blood. Look what I found here. There's about seven or eight of these little cellophane packets. Now, these, I know what this is off. Anglers using peeler crab 
They individually wrap them to freeze them, then bring them frozen to fish off the rocks. It's up all, do you know? There's no need for it. If you can carry a full one of these out of the rocks, you can carry an empty one home. Why do you want to just put them in the rubbish? It's irresponsible and it's just unacceptable and it boils my blood. How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments below how you, you feel about it when you come across litter. I know it's a small minority, but oh, let me know what you think. about an hour and a half now waiting and hoping the dolphins would show up they were here yesterday and true to my look no dolphins there's a just off shot there's a juvenile kitty wake just came across the rocks it was literally feet from me I wish it had come a little bit further it would have filled the frame for you 